Hello and a very warm welcome to yet another episode of the We Talk Talent series. Uh, this is our third season, and I'm very delighted to welcome today's guest with us, Mr. Ajay Sridhara, Head People Function, Clear Trip. Welcome, Ajay. Uh, absolute pleasure, Priya. Uh, so look forward to thank you so much for giving this opportunity. Uh, look forward to our conversation. Uh, it's our pleasure to have you on our platform. So before we move ahead, uh, I would like to give Ajay a little. introduction about his expertise in the industry so ajay leads the people charter for clear trip overseeing and optimizing the end to end employee journey with over 16 years of demonstrated experience across all gamuts of employee life cycle ajay specializes in business partnering talent management and performance management after a long stint at hcl technologies ajay went on to manage hr function at flipkart He then joined ClearTrip in 2017 and has since managed various functions like leading business partnering, performance management, engagement for both India and international teams. Ajay believes in the DNA of the organization and envisions ClearTrip becoming the employer of choice and a great place to work. He is focusing all his energies on making ClearTrip an exciting place to work and attract top talent. so ajay uh, we have all seen the kind of transformation and disruption that the the industry has been going through from past couple of years and that has led to a lot of changes in the workplace and workplace setup that we used to earlier times so with that i would like if you can share a sudden changes that your industry is tackling and how it is handling the changes with respect to the hybrid and remote so, uh, setup that has now been a talk of the town the buzzword today is future of work um, literally i should start with charles darwin's uh, statement which he saying that it is not the strongest that will survive it is also not the intelligent that is going to survive it is the one which is, which is adaptable to change that is that is the one that is going to survive i think we are literally in the same space um, in this industry not just with industry literally um, for anybody for that matter in the last two years of how things have changed Uh, over the couple of years, and how much more we've adopted and come out of it um, has been the difference between any of the teams that that they are functioning versus how we are doing. We are literally looking to build um, or create a workplace which is very intelligent, which is very very agile, which is which is literally digital in workplace. We are also looking to shift from being totally remote to what is the right balance between. what is working from home versus what is working a uh, hybrid what is the number of days that they can be but overall encompassing what we think is the right thing in right in terms of being absolute transparent be, uh, what is the right way to adopt to the new workplace that we are we are in literally uh, and and more importantly how much more mobile we can be how much more flexible we can be um, a secure workplace and a hybrid in nature literally um, all of this encompassing together uh, we we are literally looking at coming to a place where there is high on collaboration um high on energy thriving and challenging each other um and also looking um to challenge uh, and then work towards what a ota tomorrow can be we are looking to build a workforce or, or an organization that is um literally going to challenge our industry and then come up trumps this is exactly where we are again if i have to just step back and say what are the things that we are again doing um in to making this happen is Uh, to give a lot of flexibility to people at the same time so, uh, literally we had to go back and i i mentioned some time ago saying we've literally grown about 150% in last 12 months um so that it really means that we are about 60% of our workforce which is less than 6 8 months so uh, the need to pass on what our organization's culture is uh, what is our the dna of the org was getting that much more challenge being very very remote so we had to quickly come back the need need of the org was being a lot more collaborative uh, for the teams to come together and um, look at how could we challenge each other again and then uh, build what we think is going to be a world class oda um, in the future so uh, when we slightly pushed the envelope and said we'll come back to offices we in some form and shape uh, took away the flexibility that people had uh, the flexibility of being back home back closer to their family back to the places where they really wanted to be right somebody wanted to work from mountain somebody wanted to be closer to the seashore and work somebody um closer to their parents somebody now taking care of their kids uh, being home supporting their partner in whatever form and shape so we slightly uh, moved away from what was their 
norm in last two years, uh, but then came back to office. But then we thought that we can bring some balance between being at home versus being back um, uh, back to work in some form and shape. And then we also introduced a remote working policy, uh, true to. Um, uh, the belief that we belong uh, being a travel company, we've introduced a four week in the year where people can literally work from wherever they want to. Um, uh, people can go back to their hometowns for their festivities and then celebrate with their families. Um, uh, people like me where my ba- base is Bangalore literally, so I do not have anywhere else to go. So I'll find ways and means to go to mountains or seashore and then um, work from there and then um, literally bring the best out of me um, whenever that is possible, if that, that is how the talent looks at. Uh, so we are in, in all, if I have to comp- encompass everything, how much more can we bring people together and at the same time give the flexibility that today's workforce really demands? Um, is where we are trying to bring the balance uh, from a uh, hybrid working setup model. Yeah, I totally agree with your points made. Uh, since the remote culture and the hybrid work being the new norm, the cultural aspect plays a bigger role when it comes to retention also. So uh, with that, uh, I would like to ask my next question, since you also mentioned how the things have changed and so is the uh, demand for different kind of skills have been. So with that, I would like to ask you, what kind of primary skills do you look for while hiring uh, across job levels, be it in entry-level role, mid or senior level? Uh, so literally every job uh, has a prerequisite, literally, be it their education background, their degrees, their skills, uh, their work experience. Uh, so th- while this is already in play, what we are also looking for is um, and, and obviously, there is there are hard skills that is required. Right? If we are looking at, say, we are hiring for engineering, then we look for what are the kind of technologies they work, how much more it is relevant for us from uh, their past work experience. Um, one emphasis we have really put together is to bring in the soft skills also, which is as equally important as, um, say, a hard skill. Uh, a lot of emphasis is going there. Um, today, as we speak, uh, there is so much more focus on um, um, on collaboration. That is literally our underlying uh, thing that when we are looking at hiring that how much more people can collaborate. Uh, the other thing that we can think is how much more persuasive the individuals are, how much more independent um, uh, the employees can or the prospective candidate can be so that uh, in the hybrid culture, uh, there is only as much as somebody else can influence, even if it is a manager, so how much more independently an individual can function. Uh, one more Im- very, very important thing that we have started seeing is the emotional intelligence, uh, how much more um, people can uh, feel for each other and understand that they are all coming together for a common cause um, is one parameter that we are looking. Overall, while we look at hard uh, skills, soft skills, all of them put together, um, how much more they can align themselves uh, for the culture of the org, for the DNA of the org. That is primarily our, as we grow our org, um, we, we want to ensure that they are aligned to our culture and what we want to build for the future. So many things going in beyond the traditional ways of um, hiring people only for, for the role with the hard skills that match the role. Yeah, connecting to the roots of the company is... Absolutely. As, as long as they don't um, really understand what is the primary objective of the org, right? And sign up for what we really want to achieve. Then literally people are working in isolation and, yeah. and that will not be group them results. Yeah, the connect is very essential. I can't agree for more. Yeah. With that, I would like to ask my uh, next question. So, uh, so the new generation is coming in in the workforce, uh, namely Gen Z's. So their expectations and the expectations of the earlier generation workforce, if I I can say so, has been a lot of differences among themselves. So uh, how do you uh, preparing your workforce or workplace for their expectations? And how do you seeing their expectation differ from the uh, previous generation that have been working? Uh, This is a really, really interesting um, a uh, topic to discuss and very very recently i was talking to our team as well um in fact it is a learning for us as well we've been working for for many many years now thinking traditional ways of working that is so much so changed with gen z, gen z coming in um they're extremely curious to say the least um they love having freedom of thought um uh, what is very very recent is the flexibility at work that they love 
um, the transparency at work culture. So to have to talk a little more on transparency, it's also how much more we want to listen. So what is very, very unique to uh, ClearTrip is also the fact that we are spread across four locations. Uh, our supplier relations are literally across India. They're not stuck to offices, uh, literally. So how much more we can hear them uh, and listen to them and then what feedback they can pass on and how much more we can ensure that we've changed all of these and then ensure that we have, we have the right workplace in place, right culture that we are building. So they love uh, having a transparent work culture. Um, the scope for learning um, and development, their learnability uh, intelligence is way too high. Uh, this would mean that as long as we give them a platform where they are learning, uh, where there is more access to latest technologies, uh, would only make them more curious and want to, wanting to learn more. So with all of these, right, one more important thing that we've started seeing is from a reward point of view, they are literally here and now. Uh, than traditional ways of how we function, saying that promotions come their way as a part of process. Uh, we'll have to be a lot more innovative and uh, literally on on the food, on the job, uh, ensuring that they are engaged all the time and we don't uh, release the pedal, pedal at all. So um, they keep us on our toes literally. Uh, but then we also know that uh, they are the future of the org, and then to ensure that they are they feel empowered, they feel um, engaged, uh, makes our job a lot more easier. They they go solve for a lot of things. So uh, overall, uh, for for the HR team as well as the leadership, we've literally seen how the younger wave have just come in and then uh, taken over and then uh, doing a phenomenal work. The, the, the innovation that they bring in is also fin- very, very phenomenal. Yeah, that's great to hear that uh, you are taking so much consideration and trying to innovate daily to have uh, the multi-generational workforce and use their talent to maximum potential as well. So the, the other side of the story is also how much more the managers can also understand this. It is not just the HR or a leadership's yeah. role how much the manager understands Gen Z and how much more can they enable this workforce to thrive, to bring the best out of um, uh, out of these uh, employees also makes a lot of difference. So we've also put our managers through um, uh, capability exercises and m- ensuring that they understand this workforce. So literally, we are sitting at a cusp where this workforce percentage becomes bigger by the day, right? Today, it's at a certain percentage. It's only going to grow from here. It will not go lesser. So more equipped we are, the best we are going to bring to the organization as well. So uh, the focus is not just on HR that we've brought and we've just had one round of conversation. Uh, it is enabling the entire um, uh, chain, literally, the leadership, the managers, the leads also to a certain extent to understand how each of the workforce functions and what is it that we together do to ensure that we bring the best out of each other. That's kind of excellent because on the ground level, only the main is work is going to go on since they will be entering the workforce. So that's where the actual work is needed. That's some great initiatives. So uh, I would like to ask you on the diversity side of it, how do you ensure that uh, you have a more diverse workforce uh, in the workplace? So if you can throw some light on your DEI agenda. Uh, so it is, it is no brainer, right? Diversity literally aids growth. Um, there is no two ways to it at all. In fact, a diverse workforce also helps an organization like ours to understand the preferences of various customer segments. So ensuring that we have a diverse workforce across the board and also uh, across the level will help us understand uh, different segments. So we've taken certain um, uh, goals for ourselves in ensuring that we are in the right right direction, literally. Uh, uh, we have just come up with a referral policy which will enable the drive, uh, the growth in the diversity workspace. So. Uh, there are some, there is some objectives there. Uh, just taking from Q from what our uh, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi also spoke about uh, was to having a flexible work culture, which will open up a talent pool in itself. Those, the women workforce, literally, right, who are who have taken a career break and then wanting to come back. Um, that will be great. That we we have kind of piloted a couple of times, and then we want to take that full fledged now and see how much more we can grow there. Um, literally. Um, our last year has been about how much more we can grow and have hands on deck in terms of how much more we can enable clear trip for its growth in business and but we have had uh, we've also had fair successful in terms of bringing uh, people across layers um, in the diversity work, workplace the focus will now be on the charter in itself and see not just hiring for for diversity needs but also enabling our diverse workforce today and ensuring that we bring the best out of these uh, employees as well uh, will be our focus as we move forward
Thank you, Ajay, for sharing all those points. Uh, with that, we have come to our last question uh, for the day. Uh, if you can throw some light on your uh, engagement strategies and how it has changed over the years since uh, moving from a uh, regular work setup to now a hybrid and remote. Uh, so this is this is multidimensional, if I have to say the least. So we are literally catering to different generations, different levels, uh, clearly for the kind of model it is different um, work groups in itself we have an engineering we have product uh, we have business teams we have supplier relations we have bd marketing what not so what we are very very clear is not to ensure we, literally to ensure that uh, we don't go with an approach that which is one size fits all so we cater to different uh, sets of employees differently and what makes sense to them we are extremely open to hearing to them as we build our org uh, we are we are we have literally have the canvas for ourselves. So we, as we build our R, we want to hear more and more from them, take the feedback, and ensure that we've set uh, right culture for us to thrive. Um, we have different various leadership connects, which will enable employees to come and share uh, what they feel. They do not have to go through the hierarchical chain at all. So this will solve two things: one, for the leadership to understand what is happening at the ground level, and also to literally cut down on on being uh, bureaucratic or being take time consuming a lot more agile literally uh, to say and then see what are the ideas that is coming from the ground level they are literally they literally are a heartbeat of our organization so hear from them directly and then see how much more we can do um, as i also said that we are extremely um, diverse and dynamic in the way we are we have structured ourselves so um, we have we are multi uh, regional so we'll have to see how much more we can connect deeper and then uh, get the best out of them uh, the managers are enabled and they are literally um, they have uh, as they, they are also evaluated on how much more people engaging they are um, they do not just connect for daily stand ups it is much more than how do they ensure that uh, they connect to the individuals and help them develop it's more of how much more continuous the feedback can be and how can the individuals develop uh, so so much of focus is going um, on in terms of developing individuals engaging individuals bring them challenge them um, to go and see we literally thrive and challenge each other bring the best out of individuals every single day and end, end of it all we ensure that we have a very very engaged workforce um, um, the future looks really bright um, we have the right set of um, people and the leadership that is um, to come together to ensure that this org is moving forward um, just have to see how magic unfolds from here Thank you, Ajay. Thank you for sharing all those insights. And uh, I'm, I can say that Clear Trip is doing great for its employees, and we will look forward to much more such initiative from you guys. Uh, thank you so much, Priya. Look forward to connect with you again, um, and thank you so much for this opportunity to connect with you. Thanks. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you. Thank you, audiences, for joining us today. Uh, please look forward to our next episode. Thank you. Thank you.